So hello and welcome for today's session. So today we are going to talk on the complete solution of uh, solving this uh, uh, equation that is AX is, AX is equal to B. Uh, so in the previous tutorial we were talking about uh, the solutions for AX equal to 0 in the null space uh, we are finding the solutions with the special solutions. Uh, so that was depending on the free variables. If the if there are two free variables and if there are two pivot uh, uh, variables then uh, we had uh, two special solutions and this is only applicable if the uh, A matrix or the A inverse uh, is not invertible. That means if A is not an invertible then we have these many special solutions that is based on the number of free variables. So today we will uh, continue with the finding the complete solution by considering the right hand side that is in the previous what we have done is that we are finding only solution with respect to the left hand side and right hand side we consider it as zero. So now we are considering even the right hand side. So because when we solve it, it should be equal to the right side values. So that is B vector. So uh, now uh, we'll take one example here. So we consider the matrix A as uh, 1, 3, 0, 2 and the second row as 1, 4 and this is uh, 1, 3, uh, 1, 6. Uh, so now uh, there are quite a methods. So there are quite a methods uh, that we can solve it. There are quite a methods that you can uh, do it here. So that is here x1. So here we have the four uh, uh, columns. So we have the four variables here that is x1, x2, then x3 x4 and this is equal to say 1 6 7 and this should be equal to 1 6 7 here so now this is my right hand side of the equation so this is uh, b uh, just a minute i'll come back so i'll continue with this example here so uh, one method is that uh, we can uh, consider the augmented uh, column here. Uh, we can consider as augmented matrix. So what we can do is that we can write all the columns in the single matrix. That is, uh, I can write here as uh, this is as if I write the column wise. So it is one zero one. Then it is uh, three zero three. Then here I have uh, zero one one. Then this is two four six. Uh, two, four, six, and here I have, uh, sorry, then the uh, last augmented uh, column here, so it is uh, one, six, seven. So this is nothing but, so this is equal to A into B. And so this is uh, one of the method of writing the augmented matrix or also we can solve it without augmenting it. So uh, without augmenting also we can solve it. Now if you can see here, so it will go with the same uh, forward elimination method. Uh, when we go with the same forward elimination method, we will going to remove this uh, value here in the third column by subtracting this. So if you see, then we will go in the two steps and the third column will become completely zero. It means the variable uh, x4, uh, so that will also, the zero will be equal to the right hand side of the another zero. So that we will see now here. So now what we will do, we will subtract the uh, third row from the first row. So what do we get here? So first row will remain as it is, so I will write that. So here I have uh, one. 3, 0, 2, this uh, without augmenting, I am writing this. So then I have here 0, sorry my writing pad is not proper today. So I am getting difficulty in writing here. So here I will get 0, 0, 1, 4. So row 2 will also remain same. There is no difference. So 
now if, uh, let's subtract this then what do we get here so we'll get uh, this zero and here also zero so this one will remain as this so let me write that so here i'll get uh, zero so here i'll get zero and this one remain as this then after that when i subtract this uh, two from this i'll get here four so i got this four here and if you look into the right side equal to so here i'll write all my variables here that is uh, x1 and x2 then x3 then x4 and this is equal to now if we uh, subtract the same thing the first value from the second so what do i get here so here i'll get here as uh, one six and here i'll get as six fine this is the first step of uh, elimination now the second step of elimination i'll go here again so what i'll do is that i'll remove this uh, one by subtracting the row three from the new row two uh, from the row two so then what do i get here so here i will get one three the first row will remain to be as it is so it is one three zero two and second row also remains to be zero zero one four it is same so now if you look into the third row here so now it is completely zero and we have the variables here that is uh, x1, x2, x3, then uh, x4, which is equal to. So now the same thing also applicable on the right hand side. So what is applicable on the right hand side? Now we are going to subtract the second value uh, from the third one. So what happens? The second value will remain to be as it is 6. But here, if you look here, so this will become 0. So now if you see that row 3 on the left side, 0 is on the right side is also equal to 0 it means we have here that uh, the equation is 0 it means the actual equations here for solvable equations it means we only we have two equations and the third equation has no uh, meaning here so this is uh, the kind of understanding which we need to have here so now we are going to find the particular solution here so how do we find the particular solution? So one of the simplest way to find the particular solution is that, so let us understand how many uh, pivot uh, values we have and the pivot columns we have. So here we have one here, so this is our pivot column and uh, here we have one more one. So this is also our pivot column, All right? So this is also our pivot column. So let me mark my pivot columns here. So this is my pivot column and this is my pivot column and which are the free columns here so free columns i'll mark with this red and this red so one of the easiest method to solve this or how do we solve a particular solution is that so we will make all the free uh, columns or the free variables equal to zero and then we'll find the solution so that is the solution for a particular uh, one particular solution we call so that i'll write in the next page here so let me save this page Seven. Right. So let's go to the new page here. Uh, now uh, I'll copy down the same thing uh, what where we had left in the previous uh, page. So we had the matrix here that is one, three, zero, two, and uh, zero, zero, one, four. And this is 0, 0, 0, 0. And the right hand side we had that is, uh, sorry, with variables. So here we had the variables that is x1, x2, then x3 we had, then x4, which is equal to, we had 1, 6, 0. So now what we'll do is that we will make all the columns as, uh, all the free columns as 0. So then I can also write this equation as x1 into 1, 0, 0 plus x2 equal x2 into the second column 3, 0, 0. Then third column x3 is equal to 0, 1, 0. Then fourth column here is x4. I'll write here 2, 4. Zero. So then this is equal to the right side. This is zero actually. So this is equal to one six zero. Right. So now 
if you look here, if you make this as zero here and uh, this as zero because those are my free columns, then what do I left with? So then I left out with only the terms that is x1 of 1, 0, 0 plus then I have my x3 here, so then I'll write my x3 um, that is 3, 0, 0 which is equal to the supposed to be equal to the right side so that is one six sorry writing pad has too much problem so one six uh, zero so now to get this so uh, what are the values that i need to have for x1 and x3 so then i'll be having uh, the values of x1 and x3 as uh, uh, so for this particular solution so I'll be having an x1 is equal to 1 here. So then uh, x3, if I make this as 6, so if I make this 1 here, and uh, what is the third column consist of? Sorry, my mistake. That's what I'm thinking. How is this possible? It's my mistake so I had written the wrong column here so the third column is actually what zero one zero so now we, uh, we can clearly think so to get the one so x1 value should be one and to get uh, 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 to get this six so uh, this value should be six so what is my particular solution here so particular solution that is represented as xp so you you have to note here so we'll write the particular solution as xp it is not the special solution we are talking about particular solution i am repeating this again and again so this particular solution is given as xp is equal to 1 0 6 1 comma 6 comma 0 or if you want to write in a form of vector then we can write this xp is equal to uh, we have the values here as 1 0 6 0 so this is what we have got the particular solution so this is the way of finding the particular solution next we have to find the special solution so we know uh, sorry uh, yeah uh, we know how to find the special solution that is uh, for the null space so how do we find the null space uh, so before that let me give you the uh, intuition or the definition of these uh, I'll write here so XP is equal to the particular solution by solving so how do we solve it by solving a into x or we can also write this as xp equal to b so this is the uh, way we can look into the particular solution now what about the null space xn i can write here so the xn the null space that is n minus r R defines the rank of the matrix and N defines the columns here. So special solutions by solving AXN equal to 0. So this second method we already know and the first method we have seen just now. So with the same example, if I want to find the special solution here. Uh, so I'll, ta I'll take this same uh, form which I have written here. So I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I'll take the same form here. So I'll take this. So now uh, I'll first make the first uh, free variable as one and second free variable as zero. And likewise, I'll change the free variables. And so that since there are two free variables, I'll get the two special solutions. So uh, let's find out the special solutions here. So I have here my, so let me write here. So X1, I have that one zero zero here. So then plus uh, x2, I have, uh, anyway, there is, uh, so I'll make x2 is equal to 1 and x4 is equal to 0. So then I have this plus uh, x3 as uh, 1, 0, sorry. So x3, I have 0, 1, 0. And that is equal to, since I made x2 is equal to 1, then I had the right hand side that is equal to minus 3, 0, 0. So since I have minus 3, 0, 0, so how do I accomplish this? Uh, to accomplish this, I have to make the x3 is equal to 0 and x1 is equal to minus 3. So what is my special solution that is x1 uh, 
RS1 is that. Uh, so I have here minus 3, then my x2 is 1, then x3 is 0, then x4 is 0. So this is one of the special solutions. So for the next one, if you want to write here, so let me erase here itself uh, and uh, let me write the. So now next, what I will do is that I'll make uh, x2 is equal to 0 and x4 is equal to 1. So my next values are that is 2, 4, and 0. So 2, 4, and 0. Zero. So to get 2, 4 and 0, so definitely my second special solution will be, so that is, uh, I have to make here, so sorry, this is minus here, so this is minus 2, so x2 I made it 0, so this is 0, x3 is, this supposed to be minus 4 and x4 is 1, so these are my special solutions. So now after finding this uh, particular solution and the special solutions, how to find the complete solution? So actually the complete solution is written as, it is the sum of these particular solution it is a sum of particular solution and uh, the, uh, the special solution so that we can write it as xp xp plus xm so xp plus xm uh, so where do we have space here to write we don't have space so i'll take forward this to the next page So new page here. So now let us write the complete solution here. So the complete solution is given as that is x is equal to xp plus xn which is equal to, so now let us write our uh, particular solution here that is uh, 1060, zero. so this is our particular solution here, so then plus x2 into, so what is the solution we got for x2, we got the solution as minus 3, 1, and 0, and 0, so this is the solution we got here, then plus for x4, into we got here that is minus 2 0 minus 4 1 so this is the complete solution for the case ax equal to b so so far what are we have studied uh, from the beginning is ultimately to come to this solution part that's why we have first studied the null space solutions uh, how to find the special solutions then we have studied uh, before that we have studied about elimination process then we have studied the null space solution that is special solutions so now we have studied this complete solution so hope you understood this uh, session so, uh, so thank you for this uh, small session